Good day, dear friends of the Rim World, and welcome to chapter 23 of my royalty playthrough. As I've stated with the last episode, we're finally back in business again. The colony is alive, buildings are getting done, defenses are being set up, items are being crafted. We are finally making progress, except for the fact that nobody's noble uh, so far, but... We're gonna get there along the way, I think. <clears throat> so I just uh, overlooked the situation overall a moment ago. And uh, I figured right now there's not much more to do than to wait and uh, to fortify myself. Wait for uh, quests for royal favor to show up and uh, yeah bring this place up to a proper defense, make it more and more beautiful, make grand sculptures. Let's see what this will be. And yeah, basically, just keep going as before. And just hope that no wild uh, boar horde will uh, destroy our dreams again. Well. Well, these kinds of uh, fortif with this kind of fortification here, oh, I think, would have been never that horrible. Where's the construct here? So let's order some more deconstructions over here. I want to grab as much uh, as many resources as possible. So, what's the grand sculpture? It's a normal one, but it has a beauty of 400. Take that. So, that's one for the throne room. We're gonna check it out once it's there. Okay. It's just such a pleasure to see how everything is working out, finally. So, these defenses are getting built up as well. There's our Drogleb uh, coming along quite nicely. <laughs> so, let's, let's build the power conduit in there. But I think I won't be uh, issuing more building orders just uh, for the moment. Um, things need to be, uh, need to get finished here. So we're keeping these flowers alive, so... That our fallen heroes might uh, never be forgotten. These uh, decisions, they don't really do much. They, uh, just, well... I like fluff, okay. Heat strokes. We're still in the middle of a heat wave. Totally forgot about that, honestly. <laughs> Oopsie. Won't be that terrible, I guess. So for today, I uh, I thought about uh, hunting something more dangerous. And getting some more meat into the freezer. Getting some kibble done. I mean, we have a lot of work to do, honestly. With this, as, with these amounts of psychoid leaves and uh, smoke leaf jo uh, leaves, there's a lot of things to do. That's why I'm building another uh, drug lab here. We need to be able to process these goods quicker. Mm, there goes an eclipse. Because why not? Okay. Bring, bring the light. No, seriously. Bring the light. K. 
Okay, prisons are uh, getting done too. There we go. So, I'm gonna mine out this area properly so we're gonna have a uh, evenly shaped room at some point. Let's see that how this hollow uh, looks like. Okay. Can't wait for everything to be done. Inspired taming. Ooh. Remember that uh, try of taming a rhino back there in the uh, <laughs> back there, and then could make that happen now. So this one is quite young. Oh, uh, monkey is not uh, good enough with uh, the animals. That's too bad. That would have been badass. <laughs> but, well, not gonna happen. Ah, oh, what the heck. Those roses are quite a, uh, quite some work. But there are also some good uh, plants training for them. So their uh, beauty desires are uh, getting are getting satisfied by this place. It's good. Mm, still having enough energy. Oh, the poker table's done. There we go. Look at this. Channels is uh, going for playing for a play with himself that makes me always so sad that uh the colonists in vanilla no don't play together oh sorry backs backs itching okay what do we do next um i'm gonna wait until everything here is done and i think i'm gonna kill those rhinos they sound like a good uh like a good challenge to me. Rhino leather, let's see. It's quite valuable too. Visitors, oh, but they're just passing by. So I would have more room for uh, two people. Four if they would uh, couple at some point. Not bad, not bad. So this building, uh, this this housing area will not be uh, growing that much more. Okay. Can't wait for this area to be finished because for some reason my uh, colonists have uh, decided to do this. Oh, monkey is going on a pyromania spree. Uh, it's the first time she does that, so. Could be worse. Okay. That's that. No catharsis? Oh, damn. I was hoping for a little catharsis there, but obviously fire, uh, fire, uh, Pyromaniacs don't get uh, pleasure from doing so. Poor monkey. 
<laughs> Whatever. I'm running out of steel. And I'm not surprised. Not the least little bit. Bulk goods trader. Awesome. Just what I wanted to see. Hmm. I'm tempted to do so, and I'm tempted to not uh, to not do so. Oh, damn. I'm just afraid that something bad happens when I attack those rhino. Okay. We're stocked up with food. That's quite good. Hmm. Honestly, I don't have much for sale right now. And obviously, oh well, I could tell uh, I could sell them some tea. Okay. But I don't want to sell those clothes for now. It's not that I'm having so many clothes that I want to get rid of them that desperately. It's just those parkas they removed for uh, for the plate armor. So, oh look at that! Some deer have entered the map. Okay, <laughs> there's something to kill. I don't need to attack the rhinos now. Okay, I'm wondering, did I overlook the steel? Or do they don't? Uh, are or are they not carrying any steel? Oh. Okay, they're not trading with that. Okay, I just wanted to check because uh, I would have been interested in buying some steel. But, well, there are uh, resources still available, so I'm gonna see what, I, what uh, when they will expire. There are other options as well. I could trade some or go for long-range mineral scanning, like I said, options. For now, I'll just get what I can around here. Oh, look at that. There's even more. <laughs> so, if they mine all this stuff out I just ordered, we're gonna have some steel. There's even more down there. Okay. Trade caravans leaving, but I don't mind. Okay. Oh, the laboratory is finally uh, getting done. Nice. <laughs> oh, they're playing together or something like that. Nice. Very, very nice. Things are starting to liven up here, and I'm quite happy about that. So, I feel like expanding my, uh, my freezer again. We're having a heavy influx of food here. I'm, en I'm enjoying it. So, we're at the end of summer. That means, well... There's going to be some more harvesting. <laughs> we keep those flowers alive. You know? <laughs> oh, there's the art. 
shows a triangle surrounded by squares. The work is executed in a cubist style, and the work is called Shadow. Err. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So. Zardine is supposed to be my cleaning guy. Well, not with all these plant works uh, standing uh, around. Okay. Somehow my miners are busy. Oh well. My miner, I have to say. But I'm okay with uh, easy being on the building uh, front as well. Wow, that hurts to see. This inefficiency is uh, amazing me, but... Uh, I can't look at this. Right now, this guy was seriously deconstructing wall tile per wa wall tile, and after each single step of deconstruction, um, he hauled those four units of steel somewhere to build a little bit. This even sound is exhausting to describe it. Okay. These poor munchkins. Okay. So, it's about time for some quests for royal favor. I want. Give me. Please. Thanks. Combat supplier. Oh. Let's see what they have. To, uh, uh, what they can offer here. All right, they would buy my tea. That's good. <laughs> charge lands. I would be able to grab myself some charge lands here. Quite tempted, honestly. Another mono sword sounds pretty good too, but I can't afford that. Sadly, would be pretty cool. A plus steel axe. Sounds nifty too, but uh... Honestly, I'm gonna try to... Afford that charge lance. But no. Doesn't seem like I'm able to uh... Get the money from that. Oh well, whatever. A little bit sad, but uh... Since they are now the Imperial Faction Traders, uh, items like Charge Lances and Charge Rifles are not that uh, limited anymore, as they were. Mm. Lovely, look at this, guys. All this puke. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Not what I wanted to say here. Okay, let's tidy this... Uh, prison area up, because... I want to... be happy with this finished, uh... wing of the building here, and, uh... right now... looking at this doesn't, uh... doesn't make me happy. <laughs> you are cleaning this room. You are cleaning this room, too. We are declaring these for prisoners. You are cleaning this room, too. You are cleaning this room, too. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna... repeat myself anymore, but mainly because... Zardine is done. Okay, we have decent... we have one decent cell, two decent cells, and the rest of them are mediocre cells. Perfect. Just what I wanted to achieve. And uh, 
if necessary, this whole area can serve as a living compartment as well. Beautiful. <coughs> so next step. Um, I just figured that there is one thing I was just uh, missing out the whole time. And that's a medical area. So I'm figuring the medical area, the hospital basically, should be somewhere uh, pretty close to the uh, whole sleeping area. So it's got to be somewhere around here. And I think I'm going to choose this area here. I'm just going to add uh, the uh, hospital to this little zone here. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Um, we're building steel beds here. And I'm preparing quite a few. I want this room to have an own temperature management system. Because I don't want them to, uh, I want I don't want the hospital to be reliant on uh, something else here. <coughs> hmm. So let's configure the smelter to destroy weapons in a smelt weapons. I'll only smelt away with uh, these parameters. There we go. So let's see what this will do. So let's clean a little bit more here. <clears throat> Whole place is a mess. It's time to tidy things up a little here. Wow, the corn uh, harvest uh, surely did a lot here. I was not interested in delivering prosthetic hearts to these guys. Way too costly to do so, honestly. So, this room has a slightly impressive uh, thing rating. <laughs> That's the <laughs> word I was looking for. So once you're cleaning up these rooms, they're actually quite attractive. I really need uh, somebody for uh, the cleanup, though. This whole, whole colony is way too dirty overall, and this makes people unhappy. And because this whole place is uh, having somewhat impressive ratings uh, in a lot of areas. But uh, we're not <laughs> we're not using it yet. Okay, but I think now it's time to uh, cut easy uh, away from his uh, building duty and let him mine a little. Wow. 
This hollow was amazing. <laughs> because I figure I really need more steel. Right now I don't have enough steel. So, our uh, mass extinction of the area proceeds having a lot of books and does in the freezer. Perfect. Oh, easy fi hit, finally hit mining seven. And, uh, channels and monkey are lovers now. Nice. Okay, they're gonna get this room here. Wonderful, wonderful. So, let's see. Channels tried to woo Monkey by joking about the connection between dead loved ones and success. Monkey responded well and is now Channels low. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna uh, question your relationship. Sort of thing. Sure sounds spooky what you guys are doing there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So once the whole field work uh, is over again, uh, my people will do uh, some other things again. But uh, whenever there's so much uh, work on the fields, things uh, start to um, pile up on other ends. Like cleaning rooms. But I do like the uh, work um, orders like these with the very high priority on growth and plant cut uh, jobs because that means once this stuff is uh, done, they're going to pick it up. And once these fields are empty, they're going to sow them again. And I like that. This means uh, work will get done once it needs to get done. And we're going to use these fields to a maximum uh, efficiency. And I do like things like that. We have struck compacted machinery. Nice. And we're having an ambrosia sprout. Huh. <laughs> Wonderful. So, let's drop down the growing zone. For a bit sowing, and they will harvest it whenever they can. Um... I'm gonna mine that, uh... Also, they will chop any trees that are hard, uh, ripe as well. I'm gonna mine that gold. It's, I've waited long enough now. Mm. I'm enjoying this place a lot. another lamp here just to keep the bad spirits away okay little little freezer expansion here oh we're having an aurora wonderful Drug Lab is coming along uh, nicely as well. And finally, I'm having more than enough food available. This uh, gives me a very good feeling. Mainly because we were uh, pretty... Um, 
close with food for quite a while. Okay. And there goes the solar flare. Why not? My game is freezing. What's happening? Oh, we're having a new quest. So, the Grey Sovereignty wishes to watch how you fight an infestation for the purposes of entertainment. Yeah, great. We're no, thanks. These weirdos, they want to uh, attract uh, infestations on my base and uh, watch me fight them in exchange for an orbital bombardment, bombardment, bombardment targeter. Oh, well. I'm honestly a little bit tempted because these uh, bombardment targeters are really good. They are really, really good. So, I need to check out this quest again, so... Power Beam Targeter. Hmm. Ah, well. I'm gonna wait until the Solar Flare is over, though. This quest is uh, here for a few more days, and... Uh, This sounds like madness, but uh, if I want to befriend uh, myself with the uh, royals again, I guess I need to do some of their madness. So... I mean, I consider myself quite well equipped, so... Let's do this. I think there should be something happening quite soon. There we go. So, let's see which uh, major losses we will suffer. But this is actually quite good. Oh yeah, we can... Uh, I know how we're gonna do this. Wait for channels to uh, step over here as well. And the rest will be not as horrible as it looks like right now. So, there we go. Okay, take a deep breath. Open the door. And let them fight this stuff. Since I'm uh, having quite heavy armor here, I'm, uh, I think I will do. I will be able to win this uh, brute force like this. The most important thing when fighting infestations is to uh, create a narrow uh, spot like this here. There we go. Done and done. We're just having a few bruises. Holy. F <laughs> oh my god. And that's just marine armor, friends. There's even, even cataphract armor. So, I really want to get my hands on this stuff. <laughs> there we go. Dear Royals, I hope we please you well. So, compare it to a plate armor? Well, the plate armor didn't uh, do its job that horrible either. Uh, anyways, it was quite okay. Oh, they're actively destroying those hives. Nice. Really nice. Okay. There we go. Orbital beam targeter. Yum. Okay. So, we're, we're having the uh, tending going on. Okay, good. That was quite easy. 
I thought as much. Having uh, such uh, heavy armor and uh, good melee weapons. I figured we had a good chance of this working out uh, nicely. So, let's smooth some surfaces here. Um, there we go. Make this place a beautiful one, you know? Okay. I'm collecting things like these because uh, they are so good when uh, later on the raiders uh, um, come with uh, siege parties towards your base. Every one of those, tar uh, every uh, single targeter here is uh, a get out of a get out of jail card, and that's why I collect them so as much as I can. Okay, there we are. Wow, I'm quite impressed about uh, how well this uh, whole thing went with the marine armor there. So, sadly I don't have uh, enough steel right now to build a few more uh, plate armors. I mean, I would prefer mar marine armors, but uh, we're 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 not quite there yet. So, what's up with walls, though? What does somebody I have to? Is this somebody I want to have here? Well, definitely has qualities. I want to expand these areas a little because uh, I felt that my storage uh, room for uh, blocks and uh, steel was a little bit limited. Easy turns out to be quite the master miner. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Once the salt's mined out, I'm gonna expand this zone to here and uh, shrink it a little bit here. I don't know. I don't like this uh, if we're if there are no uh, walkways in between. Same goes for here. This area with the chunks, I'm still a little bit unhappy with it. But I think this will solve my problem a little here. Let's do it like this. But for now, uh, easy is mining at useful projects again. So we're we're th smoothing the walls. This is a quite uh, slow process. What about the simple meals, though? Why do we have no simple meals anymore? Why is Monkey not cooking at all? I don't get it. I need to monitor uh, Monkey's work when she's back up on her feet again. Something seems odd uh, with her behavior, and I want to check.
I mean, I don't know what uh, cramps up her uh, job schedule so much. I mean, possibly the psychoid leaves, but uh, I don't know. Why is there always uh, no simple meals? Just makes me wonder a little. Yeah, for some reason. She doesn't want to do anything else. Well, gonna send her butchering a little. Maybe the uh, this will remind her of the other jobs. Yum, insect meat. I can sell that to the uh, bulk goods traders, uh, though. Stuff is not half as bad as you might think. Okay. So, how is Justinian's plant skill coming along? Wow. Quite nicely. He was uh, really bad when I got the uh, when I got him into the colony. So, I'll we go. Is there anything to hunt? Okay, there's uh, this grizzly bear. But right now he's uh I I don't need to kill him, I think. Marriage is on. Oh dear. I hope nothing bad happens. The last time a marriage was uh, proposed, uh, everybody died. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit nervous here. So. Right now, Monkey's in a butchering spree. But, I mean, I don't mind. We need that as well. But I start asking myself, are we done now? But, uh, Monkey, uh, finds something new everywhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there's a squirrel, just when I thought we were done with everything. Okay. I love those uh, hauling animals so much. It's just... Uh, speeds up things so much when you're having enough uh, animals with hauling capabilities. At some point they do so much work for you. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> They're all good bads. Awesome. So, these are all medical beds, and also, well, once this room is done, I'm going to order them to drop medicine over here. Just because... <laughs> I'm not gonna uh, store herbal mats here because of the simple reason whenever I need herbal mats, it's not that urgent. I, uh, whenever there's an emergency, you use the good medicine, and uh, the good medicine doesn't need to, uh, doesn't need a freezer. The herbal medicine does, and so that's why I don't uh, bring the herbal mats over here because I, I can't do it without building a freezer. I'm incapable of doing it differently. There we are. Monkey's switching over to a parka because it's getting cold, and that's why I didn't sell those things. Speaking of which, let's do let's do a few more. And a few more of everything for now. Okay. I think Monkey's problem was simply that uh, she was out of uh, out of ingredients. 
So let's clean this horrible room. I mean, look at this. What a mess. So. I just thought about this area here. I might as well uh, use it as a uh, high-tech uh, manufacturing area. Because it's so close to my uh, basic storage areas. I might as well consider that. Good day, dear travelers. What can we do for you? Please let us strip you of all your money and replace it with drugs. Thank you. Primary strategy. There we go. All, all the insect goo is uh, getting cleaned away. And we're having cloth button-down shirts, but this one is an excellent one. Nice. Well, I want to use this uh, tremendous skill and ache a little bit more. It's always nice to have a high-level high uh, crafter on your colony. Okay. So, Easy is digging out all the steel. And no matter how much steel uh, he keeps digging out, the number doesn't really increase. You see, that's how much uh, steel channels was uh, using here and there and everywhere. But we're finally getting somewhere here. I mean... This is this is turning out to be a place, you know. Also, I want to be uh, I want this power conduit to be done. Looking at this this little hole here is uh, cutting off my defenses. <laughs> this is intolerable. Okay, so my friends, I think this is a very good point to wrap up this episode. So, we're getting along now, aren't we? This place is turning out to be a proper base, that's to some degree. I think there's uh, still a lot of more work to do, but we're gonna get there. So, if you guys think there's anything about this base you would do differently or anything I should still do or buy uh, or build, please feel free to drop me a comment. Also, feel free to give, leave me a thumb up if you want to or even a subscription to my channel if you want to help my channel, help my work, help me and make me happy. If none of these are your uh, are something you want to do, I don't mind either. I just I just I'm happy for all the time you spend around here watching all these videos. It makes me feel great. You're awesome. Keep rocking. Check in by for the next episode and until then take care and see you soon.